Did we just get a good and a bad episode in the same episode? Now, let me explain. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Repo Man, episode 15 of Supernatural Season 7. And this episode is good in some capacity. It also is bad in some capacity. Let me start with the bad. This episode does ask a lot out of you. It asks quite a bit out of you. And every time one of these moments happened, it knocked it down for me. It's another filler episode, but it actually does correlate to something that's going on with Sam being his hallucinations with Lucifer. The first thing you have to buy is that all of a sudden, Lucifer is very, very apparent now. He went from being non-existent, probably because of however much they could afford to pay Mark to come onto the show, but now he's there all the time. He cannot go away. Does it lead into a very cool dynamic between him and Sam to the point where Sam even has him help him with it in this way of he doesn't want to, but he knows it's working? That's a great element, but again, where the fuck has Lucy been this whole time? We went from the goddamn clown episode to this? Why couldn't we have had a progression of this? A gradual progression to this? But it's just, nope, dunked head first into it. The second issue is that while this story is actually a cool idea, the concept of what happens to a possessed victim after they have been saved, this does correlate into Lilith a little bit with just going back in time and they are re-meeting with this guy because the women that the demon was killing as Jeffrey are starting to die again. I liked how Jeffrey actually was a serial killer or had the aspirations to be one, but he couldn't do it because he didn't have the balls, at least to say. But this demon was the one that pushed him over the edge and he wanted to reconnect with him. He wanted to reconvene into that evil again. And I liked that. Except there's two things you have to swallow. The first is when Jeffrey supposedly takes control. Thinking about it now, maybe this was the demon just tricking them from the first place. But when Jeffrey takes control, he looks at what he's done. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe I've done this. You've got to get him out of me. And they never mention that again. They never bring it up again. Even when Sam and Dean are confronting him and, well, Dean's in the being tied up by him. He doesn't mention anything about... Yeah, I said that because I had to. He just says, no, I wanted him back. And then the third thing is the random devil's trap on the ceiling. Now, forgive me, I didn't notice it. I went back to try and see if that had ever been placed by anyone, but who the fuck put it up in a 20 foot tall warehouse? Maybe it might have been the lady who had been helping them, the one whose son has been kidnapped by Jeffrey. So maybe that might have been it. Those are the parts that you have to stomach. The good parts are, as I said, the Sam and Lucifer relationship. I like Sam losing control, but it, he also has Lucifer help him. There's a lot of fun references and some pretty horrifying references. I like the ending with the fire, very reminiscent of what it was like when he was in the cage with Lucifer. I like the idea of what we see happens to a former possessed victim and how broken they can be. But also I like how he used group therapy essentially to focus on his goals and his aspirations of rekindling this friendship and this connection with this demon. I like Dean's involvement in the episode too. I do like how he gets tricked by Jeffrey. But then at the very end, there's that very casual, like, oh, they're psychopaths and blah, 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 blah. I just feel like that was a tacked on thing. This is very much kind of the idea of a season 13 to 15 episode, but written better and executed better. Probably executed better. That would probably be my main thing. I like Repo Man for a lot of reasons, but I also think it's bad for a lot of reasons. It's almost like my relationship with Blade 2. I love parts of that movie. I also fucking hate a lot of that movie. So in the end, Repo Man for me, while it has great ideas, it does falter from a lot of stupid writing quotes, but it doesn't hinder it enough to be a negative. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. Well, those are my thoughts, guys. Let's see what you guys have to say. Just like you, Jeremy, when I think of human antagonists, I always think about the Benders and Gordon. For some reason, I completely forgot about Jeffrey. What did you think about him? Was he more menacing than the Benders and Gordon, or was he just all right? I liked who he was. I liked the concept of him. I just kind of wish I had a little bit more explanation, considering, like I said, at the very beginning, he has a very convincing, hey, I've done wrong. 
you guys do whatever you need to do to stop me. And then all of a sudden he's like, no, I actually loved him from the beginning. It's like, well, what happened at the beginning then? Also, I have to say for one-off characters, the actress who played Nora in this episode nailed the exorcism chant towards the end of the episode. Yeah, she was pretty good. I'm surprised she never came back. Despite being a Ben Enlin episode, I thought this was one was a little too dark, although it does show Lucifer's sillier, more childish side, which worked, but got way too overused in the latter season. I really didn't say, it really didn't save this episode. I think that what really got to me was the one guy kills the dog for blood. It's off screen, but damn, you see the dog playfully have the cone of shame and his mouth wagging and his tail only moments before hearing a cry out in pain. So sad. Uh, so curious, are you watching slash reviewing The Last of Us? That's probably one one of the reasons why, guys, I've been so hesitant in watching uh, and reviewing Supernatural, because I am watching Last of Us, and I've been watching a lot of other TV sh uh, series. It's just so freaking good so far. And coming back to this, I'm like, ah, I guess. But anyways, yeah. But I am going to review it once it's done. Kind of surprised you didn't like Plucky episode too much. Like most people, I thought it was a fun episode to watch, but after hearing your thoughts, I can completely understand why you disliked it. It's predictable as hell and has weird choices like cutting back to Sam finding clowns three times. I think the humor carries that episode for me. The next episode, Repo Man is unique. It takes a dark look into demon possession and, and how it changes a person. I like the episode and I wish I had put time to put my thoughts into it. Yeah, I liked that. I thought that was a cool idea of going back to someone who ha they had saved. I thought that was a cool concept. As far as I know, they hadn't done that before. I just kind of wish they did more of it. Honestly, I wish they had done a lot more of that because imagine the amount of people who got fucked up from all the demon possessions that they you know, could have met up with. Repo Man, this episode is a big twist, but in a good way. It was interesting seeing Sam and Dean work on an old case. I did enjoy the hallucinations of Lucifer here because he's not annoying like he was in season 14. The actor who plays Jeffrey did a brilliant job here. I didn't see the twist coming. I was glad Dean took off. Uh, took down Jeffrey. I felt bad for Sam because his method of stopping the hallucinations of Lucifer wasn't working anymore, which was hurting himself to make them stop. Yeah, and that's probably the one bit that I kind of wish we had a little bit more of because it just it it just slaps over. He's all of a sudden there all the time. How did this? You know, we could have seen this happen. We could have been alluded to it, but nah, it didn't really. There, I, I admit the Jeffrey twist did. I didn't see that coming either. But like I said, it's because that that turn off at the beginning that just didn't really kind of add up. For me, this episode shows off how much more interesting demons are than the Leviathan. They just want to eat people, the end. While demons make deals and need a host, not just to copy people, demons all can leave lasting impacts after they are gone. Mostly negative, of course. Even season seven is there are there episodes about demons for as for Leviathan, I doubt we'll be seeing much more of them after they're solved. Yeah, no, exactly. And I've I was re-watching some of my old reviews about the finale, and I always wonder why they went with vampires instead of demons. <laughs> Just demons have such a core facet to this show. Repo Man was mostly unremarkable for me, but I did like the element of the boys checking in on people who they have helped. But let's be real, this episode is memorable for Mark Pellerino and his portrayal of Lucifer, the poking out of forked tongue, and the he said shut up to me line. I forgot these were here in this episode. As did I, but I did say that those were my favorite bits as well. Some of my favorites. I'm very curious what your thoughts on Repo Man. I think it's a better episode than we've gotten since the mid-season premiere. Yeah, I'm not gonna disagree on that. I really like Sam and Lucy working together on a case. I think Mark Pellerino makes an impact since we haven't seen him in 12 episodes, but I think the show's missteps by going so long with barely even a reference exactly to the nature of Sam's mental state. I remember being shocked to see Mark show up at the beginning of the episode and then realize that Sam has been seeing him the whole time. This alluded to a couple of times in the previous episodes, but it was so underused you had forgot about it. Exactly. In fact, the entire idea of Sam's suffering in hell and how he adjusts from it was poorly written. At least I think so. It lacks realism and makes it hard to relate to, as if Sam forgets his trauma and is completely normal and fine except for these specific episodes. I'm not saying he should have been a babbling wreck, I just believe it could have been handled better. I like the idea of Sam and Dean revisiting a man's life who they had saved, but had also become a wreck in the progress. When people talk about the boys being written out as a character, this season, the earlier season with Dean dropping the badly beaten and tortured Jeffrey off of the hospital comes to mind. Our Sam, Jeff, what were you, what you went through was hard. 
it's kind of funny, but also reflects badly on them. I like the idea of Jeffrey acting as a horrified victim only to be revealed as the killer who actually enjoyed being possessed in the twist that the demon was looking was looking to create the next generation of Bundys and Dahmers. For me, this episode is one of my favorites of the series. I feel that Lucy's switch from helpful and humorous to menacing works because he's not overused this season and to become uh, because his power is limited is a hallucination. It is also just unfortunate that the latter seasons will overuse his whimsical quality here to the point where it becomes cartoonish. Sam, Dean summoning spell. Why? Lucy to summon the demon jackass starting to look at who i actually yeah no his their banter was a definite saving grace of this episode repo man is one of my all-time favorite episodes from season seven i like the episode so much and the humor from the hallucination lucifer always makes me laugh from sam telling him to shut up or when lucifer is complaining about his sam's head in spanish and also lucifer th threatens to slap nora that was actually cool i did like that little like ooh. All iconic in, in my opinion. Also, the final scene of this of the episode makes me cry because Sam lets Lucifer in and the torture begins as we barely even see any of it aside from the first two episodes of the season. I definitely need to point out the final scene was shot in the close-up of Sam's eyes so they have the fire in them as Sam is on the verge of tears. Personally, I love the shot within six and seven. If there was anything that I did not like about the episode, it has to be Jeffrey's plan. Didn't make much sense to me. Exactly. I give this episode 6.5 out of 7. I do enjoy the last shot quite a bit. It is a very good shot, I will agree. Finally, Repo Man is surprisingly my fifth favorite episode of the series, of the season. While this is a weak, uh, one of the weakest stories that Ben and Lynn had to write, uh, Helm writing for the show, it's actually classic Supernatural. With the flashback scene from season three's era, you can tell there was a hint of awkwardness for the boys pulling off the look they had, but it's a unique concept for them to visit. Even though it's not confirmed, one of my theories is that this was an episode that we would have seen in season three if it weren't for the writer strike back then. Ooh, good point. Actually, you know what? That's not entirely implausible. Sam and Lucifer's banter are my favorite parts of the episode. One thing that's really great about this episode is that it shows Sam most likely deals with everyday dealing with his supernatural schizophrenia and trauma from the cage being tortured by Lucifer. And I know a lot of people wish that they got more of this in the season, but to me, I'm always happy to see it as a least addressed more than anything. I also love how this episode delves in with how the, and the method and the motivation of evil comes from in within humanity. I also I absolutely see how demons in general affect humanity in a similar way. Whether it's the would be the whispers to their desires of the full on possessing uh, possessing them and committing the acts that the humans desire to do. The demon waltzing in Jeffrey's uh, into with Jeffrey gives me eerie vibes. That's a callback to one of the most inhumane horror films. And from the writer and director Pablo, oh, saw, uh, 120 Days in Sodom. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that one. I'm, I'm not gonna watch that one. I do know about it though. I have read a few things about it. The only reason I know about said horror movies because I had to write a school paper where I argued that older harder horror was much more graphic and terrifying than modern horror today. The ending of this episode breaks my heart every time I watch it. And where now Sam cannot escape the hallucinations he has of Lucifer. All right, thank you guys for your comments. Next episode is Out With The Old. I'm on a roll right now. I think I might just watch this one too. I, I, the more and more I get into it, the more and more I want to review these episodes and just get this fucking season over with. But give me your guys' thoughts about Out With The Old and I will read those off in the next review. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week.